Hello guys, Scott Fuss here. It's been a while since the last tutorial we uploaded, but here we are, we are going on with our next exercise, small factorials. Uh, the, this exercise asks from us to calculate factorials of some uh, small positive integers. In the first line we uh, read the t, the number of test cases, the number of how many numbers we are going to read. And then in the next t lines we read an int the integer number which is between 1 and 100. When we firstly hear the number, the word factorial, we get in our minds that this is simple exercise, what we are doing with this, but there's uh, some problems which we are gonna, going to talk soon, in a while. Uh, what's factorial? Let's explain to those who don't know what factorial means. Factorial is uh, the product of uh, numbers. If we have a number 6 inputted, the result would be 6 multiplied by 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All numbers following from the starting number in this in descending mode by one for example if we have 15 we have 15 14 13 12 11 and going on until we reach 2 and then 1 so uh, but what's the problem uh, the problem is that we are working in C++ and C++ doesn't allow us big uh, numbers C++ uh, allows uh, the maximum uh, digits around uh, 12 digits and uh, we have a number 100 which, ha which number has uh, its factorial has more than 20 digits so uh, let's see concretely uh, what is the maximum amount of uh, C++ number so uh, the maximum amount is uh, the unsigned long long type which allows us uh, around 20 digits and that number is this here the selected one so we'll need to improvise something to make this calculation possible while in other programming languages uh, there's no need for this because they support uh, bigger numbers and that wouldn't be a problem but we don't have other choice we are working C++ so the simplest way of doing this is like this so we have a, a T number of test cases we read it from the user and we have the four cycle starting from 0 until T minus 1 increasing by 1 next we have a number which we are going to read each time we get into the four cycle and we need to calculate the factorial uh, how we are going to calculate the factorial uh, we get we will get instead of a simple variable factorial we'll get uh, an array of integers where uh, in each uh, index of the array we'll put uh, a single digit so if we have the factorial uh, for example the factorial of uh, 5 is 120 and that number would be represented like this is a factorial of 0 would be 0 factorial of 1 would be 2 and factorial of 3 of 2 sorry would be uh, 1 and when we print the number we'll print it backwards like uh, 1 2 0 and we have 120 and next uh, the we'll have another variable which will be the reminder so we'll make like a um, handwriting multiplication we simulate something like that the remainder is in the beginning zero so what we are going to do next after reading the number we saw that the multiplication of 
we factorize the multiplication of the given number by other numbers following decreasing by 1 until we reach 1 so while well, num is greater or equal than 1 decreasing by 1 and what next uh, because we have an array we know that uh, which is the we, when we have a product of numbers uh, we know that the, mm, the starting value should be 1 e, while uh, in the sum we have 0 because uh, 1 multiplied by everything is that everything so fact of 0 is equal to 1 but we are missing something else how uh, will we know that how many digits has this array so at the beginning we have one and we just make a variable digits which will be initialized to one and uh, we start we make another variable yep which is less than digits and it is increased by one and uh, we'll repeat the process when we have a uh, handwriting uh, multiplication for example if, if we have uh, 123 multiplied by 25 we can start doing that by in this way so firstly we multiply 25 by 3 and the result would be 75 as one digit we get 5 and we get an remi a reminder let's say of 7 which will add to the next one now we go on 25 multiplied by 2 is 50 adding that 7 is 57 so 7 and a reminder is 5 and 25 multiplied by 1 is uh, <coughs> 25 plus this 5 it's 30 and we just add that 30 before there and here we have the result is 3075 we are going to simulate this process here in the same way so uh, just there the number would be represented backwards so firstly we said that the, the first the first digit or the last digit of the number in this in our array is that the first digit is the digit which is here in this case multiplied by the number plus the remi rem reminder after that we said that this we saw that this number for example it was 75 but we don't want 75 we want 5 and firstly we say the reminder is factorial that digit that result modulus 10 which will give our reminder and the factorial oops, divided by 10 we just erase the last digit then the last digit will go to that place for example we have this we have something like this multiplied by 25 so firstly we multiply 25 by 3 and now the last digit will be 5 and the reminder will be 7 and this process uh, goes on until we have no digits left to pass but uh, what after this after this uh, we just saw that uh, here we left with 30 at the end we got the result 75 or in this 
opposite direction we have 57 and we need here to add 0 3 how we are going to do this so uh, we are uh, making while ram which means uh, ram is different than 0 and uh, we'll just say fact of digits plus plus is equal to rem modulus 10 and we just erase a digit from the reminder uh, what digits plus plus means well at the beginning we have we had uh, three digits now we are adding one more so at the fourth position at at the third position a fourth position we see is represented as factorial of three fact of number three index three add the zero and then increase the number of digits then repeat the same uh, process until you have no digits left there and uh, in this way we get this number and after the while after doing this after calculating the factorial we have another four which starts from the number of digits but one least and after that uh, digits should go until zero the digits would be our index mover in the array fact and minus minus so we just output the fact of digits and after outputting them we just output another end line so let's try this for some basic values for example we, we read five numbers if we put a uh, five we get another 20 if we put 7 we have 5040 if we put 15 we get a bigger number if we put 85 it works too we get a more bigger number and for 100 we get even more bigger number so let's test, test this exercise on the submission of the code chat we hit the, the submit button and yeah here we have we have a correct answer thanks for watching uh, see you soon with another tutorial make sure to subscribe by clicking the red button right below the like button you can also turn on the notifications by pressing the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss our upcoming videos. Bye, code purpose.